Hey, G Squad, welcome back to another of Is It Worth It? So, today's episode, we got this cool umbrella here, and basically, what this is is a foldable wagon. If you see for the one that we got right here, is from this brand. And right here is basically what the package looks like when you guys first get in. Let me actually open up to show you guys what the inside looks like first. So, once you guys do open up, this is what the inside looks like. Let's take it out. So, once you guys do take it out, this is what the product looks like. So you can see the size of the product is actually really small when you guys do fold it up. But in the front right here, we do have the brand logo. Front part right here, they do give you guys the foldable board that they put inside to give you guys the port, which I'll show you guys in a second. But basically for the outer layer, they do give you guys a bag to hold the product. So let's do take it out. This is what the bag looks like. And they do give you guys a zipper option for you guys to open up really easily and put it back together really easy as well. But once you guys do take out the bag, this is basically what the product looks like. And you see how once you guys do take out the bag, the product is actually very small and very compact. And I love the fact that how it does stand up by itself. Especially if you guys compare it to the other one that I viewed in the past, which I believe is from the brand called Max Sport. That one had a foldable design, but doesn't stand up by itself, which is really inconvenient if you guys want to stand it up and put it against the wall or something. But now let's open the strap and open up to show you guys what the inside looks like. So I'm gonna take out the strap and then pull it open. And then push the inside and it's all set. So I see the way how they designed this one is actually very similar to like the other one that I reviewed from the brand called Vivo Sun. But for the color that we do have right here is different. That one was red. This one right here, we do have great color, but they do have this available in many other colors as well. So you definitely want to do your own research to see which one prefer. But right here in front, we do have the handle for you guys to move the wagon really easily. And for this handle, you do have the option to extend it. So if you guys push on the red button, that basically allows you guys to extend it. And the way how to design the bottom part right here is actually really cool. You do have the option to move forward and backward and left and right. And you do have the option to push it up and down if you guys do need to. And the way how to design the wheels on the bottom is actually pretty cool. It is 360 rotatable. So if you guys do move it around. It's literally so easy for us to use it. And when you guys do feel the materials on here, it definitely feels really high quality and very durable as well. And then the front part right here, I'm saying they do give you guys two pockets. So that way, if you guys want to put your water bottle on here, you definitely have the option. Or if you guys want to put other stuff, maybe like a power bank or something, feel free to do that as well. But throughout the product on the side, they do have this high quality frame that I believe is like a metal material. They do mention the weight capacity that's on here is 220 pounds. So as long as you guys don't exceed that weight limit, then you should be fine. And the other thing about this wagon is like the length of the product or the height. When you guys compare it to the Max Sport one, the first one I reviewed, the height of that one was around here, where for this one much taller. So that way you definitely have the option to stack more stuff on top for a higher level. Let me show you the inside before we put it on the board. So when I do bring up clothes, this is basically what the top part looks like. So you see how they do have the handle option for you to pull it up really easily when you guys do put it away. But now let's put the board on top. So you basically want to just fully open it and put it inside. So that would give it even more support when you guys do use it. And obviously the weight limit on here, like I mentioned, is 220 pounds. So if you guys want to put your kid in here, maybe for picnicking or something, you definitely have the option available. And just to give you guys an idea of what the product looks like when you guys do put stuff inside, let's say for example, if I put the box inside, that is basically what the product would look like. And if you guys notice on the side right here, they also have the brand name on the side. Now let's put it away to show you guys how to put it away. So the way how you put it away is actually very easy and very simple. Just do the reverse of everything that I show you guys. So put down the handle first by pushing the red button. Take out the board. Use the handle inside to pull it up. Close back up together. And when you guys close it up, you guys want to make sure the wheels are facing outward for this one. So that way when you guys close it up, the front wheel have the option to actually close it up really easily. But once you guys got that done, now you put it back on the strap. You basically just want to strap it back together. And now you just put it back on the cover. Once you guys put the cover back on, you guys can put the board on top. Just like that. Very easy and very simple. And now you can bring it along with you guys anywhere or store wherever you guys want because of how compact and how minimal the product is. So that is basically everything that's on the product. Now to come boxing and testing product. Now to answer the question of whether or not it's worth or not. So for this part, I do have to say that it's pretty worth it if you guys want to need one of these, especially if you guys are in the market looking for a high quality foldable wagon that give you guys everything that I mentioned on here in terms of weight capacity, the foldable option, the high quality material and the high quality fabric, and also like the two cup holder option in the front, then I do have to say that it's pretty worth it. 
But the, obviously for those of you guys who don't want or don't want or have one of these, that obviously don't buy one and save your money something else that actually do need. So that's basically everything for this video itself. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button in the bottom. That will definitely help this video out. And it will definitely help with the algorithm as well to promote more videos for you guys so you guys can see more of the videos or similar videos as well. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace.